Greetings Apostles for White Wellbeing from the Blue Ninja from the road. On my way from Phoenix to Tucson, which I've done before uh, a week or two ago. And I saw something. Big old billboard uh, then, and I just saw it again. And just gonna make a quick comment on it. Uh, this huge billboard on Highway 10, eastbound, Phoenix to Tucson, really close to the Mexico border, obviously. Big old official looking billboard. Looks like it was put up by the United States government. Probably was. And probably by, you know, border patrol and customs and all that stuff probably totally uh, sanctions it, sponsors it, supports it, whatever. This is official, basically from the government. And this sign, huge billboard said, we are all Americans. What we share is more powerful than what divides us. <laughs> Obviously that is put there really close to the to the Mexican border for a reason. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that's just insanity. Where would you ever see a sign like that in any other country except for America or another western country? You don't see that and let's just and I just started thinking about how ridiculous that would be, you know, um, just to put it in perspective of how ridiculous it is, is just, just imagine seeing that in a non-Western country. So just flip it around. Imagine uh, in, in Mexico, just over the border on the other side, on the Mexican side, can you imagine if there was a sign, as soon as a big old official Mexican government sponsored billboard as soon as you enter Mexico that says, we are all Mexicans. What we share is more powerful than what divides us. Can you imagine seeing that? Anyone who's been to Mexico, as I have a number of times, and, and driven across you know you don't you obviously don't see uh, a sign any signage like that um, and just just think about how ridiculous that sounds you go to Mexico you're on vacation or whatever you're expecting to see Mexican stuff Mexican people Mexican culture Imagine if it was just a bunch of non-Mexicans there and there were signs everywhere saying, we're all Mexicans. Welcome, foreigner, you're a Mexican. <laughs> we're all Mexicans. What we share is more powerful than what divides us. Can you imagine going to Mexico and seeing that? That would be people would laugh. Everyone would just say, this is ridiculous. All the non-Mexicans would say, well, of course I'm not Mexican. <laughs> and they would just say, that's ridiculous. There, there's something up. That's weird. Why is the country saying that everyone can be a member of that country. Why is this country saying that everyone can be this nationality? Welcome to Turkey. We're all Turkish. Welcome to Azerbaijan. We're all Azerbaijanian. Uh, welcome to Russia. We're all Russian. 
Welcome to Peru. We are all Peruvian. I mean, we all get the idea. Can you imagine how ridiculous that would be? It is ridiculous. And if that were to be happening in non-Western countries, people would say there's something fishy going on in this country. Obviously, you know, people know that in Mexico, not everyone is a Mexican. That's obvious. So there's, there's something else going on. Everyone would just immediately pick that up. Why is their own government telling every foreigner that they can be of that nationality? Well, it wouldn't take long for anyone with half a brain to realize, well, <laughs> the only reason a government would do that is because they are against the indigenous people of that country. That would be the obvious conclusion that shouldn't take too long to get to. If we were all to go to Mexico and they're just saying, welcome to Mexico, you're Mexican. Here's your Mexican uh, citizenship. Here's your Mexican passport. It wouldn't take long to realize, wow, they, they must not like, the government must not like the, the actual native Mexican people, the real Mexican people. Must be something up. Something is going on against them from their own government wouldn't take long to realize that that was what was going on uh, with any country. It's easier to see that in a, in a non-Western example now um, because in the West people have sort of gotten conditioned to think that, that, that it's normal for everyone to just be constantly welcomed in. Well, it's not normal. It's not any more normal here in the West than it is outside of the West. It's just been going on for so long here that people think it's normal. But it's anything but. It wouldn't take long to realize if we were to see stuff like that in Mexico, for example. Wait, okay. Yeah, you know, everyone in immediately knows that's bullcrap. Obviously, not everyone can be Mexican. People are either born Mexican or they're not. And people would immediately realize, okay, they must be trying to replace the native Mexican people. That's why they're just welcoming in all the foreigners, handing out Mexican citizenship left and right trying to make non-Mexicans Mexican on paper, they're obviously trying to replace the native Mexican population. It wouldn't take long to come to that conclusion with any country. And it's the same thing in the West, obviously. Now, just, you know, just to imagine, I think it's kind of a good exercise to, to imagine it from the other perspective. From the, from the foreigner entering the country perspective. We in the West, uh, native, indigenous, true white Westerners, we're so used to being the ones that are being replaced and erased and being forced to open our arms and gates to everyone on planet Earth. We're so used to this kind of abuse but just imagine if, the, if it was the other way around and we were actually in the other position. Where we go to a non-Western country and they say, welcome to Japan. Uh, you're Japanese now. Even though we're white, Westerners. And they say, uh, Here, here's your certificate. You're Japanese. Welcome to Japan. Here's your house. Here's your job. Well, what would be our reaction? Any sane person's and decent person's reaction to, to that? 
for a Westerner going into any non-Western country. Japan, Thailand, anywhere in Asia, Africa, Latin America, Middle East, you name it. Imagine we go there and they say, here's your citizenship. What would, what would we all think immediately? Any same, and everyone thinks this, that it happens to. Everyone that enters the West has the same thought as a non-Westerner when they come in and they see this anti-Western propaganda, anti-white propaganda. They, they all think the same thing that anyone would going to a foreign country and being handed citizenship being told you are now of this nationality they all think just as we would think well of course we're not Japanese you know you just handed me a piece of paper that says Japanese citizenship but of course I'm not Japanese people know that No matter what, how many pieces of paper they're handed or what kind of passport they have, everyone knows that no matter how much you tell a non-Japanese person that they're Japanese on paper, blah, 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 everyone, any non-Japanese person knows they will never be Japanese, period. They can live there, they can try to blend in with the culture, they can integrate as much as possible they can learn the language they can integrate up to a certain point but there is a biological barrier that everyone hits and you can talk Japanese act Japanese but you will never be 100% Japanese because most of that is determined by birth it's just blood, genetics, bio-spirit. Uh, so, so I can guarantee you folks, that's what all the, and, and going back to that Japan example, if we were to enter as Westerners, as white Westerners and they hand us Japanese citizenship and say, you're Japanese now, we would all firstly think, well, obviously we're not Japanese, we'll never be Japanese. Um, and then we would secondly think something's up again. And we would quickly realize that, okay, this government is obviously not treating the real Japanese people very well. This is, this is an attack on, on the real native Japanese people. If they're telling foreigners like me, um, that if they're telling foreigners like me, like us, that we're Japanese, we would know that there is an attack going on on the native indigenous Japanese people. It wouldn't take long to realize that the only purpose of that is to work against the native Japanese population. would quickly realize, wait a minute, that's not right. Why are they attacking, erasing and replacing the native Japanese population? They, they, the government obviously is against them, has an issue with them, and is in the wrong. So anyone would quickly realize this. Um, and I can guarantee you folks, everyone has this same viewpoint when coming to the West. 
They know that they're not Western of whatever country they enter, let's say America, for example. Every non-American, non-Westerner that comes to America, whether they're visiting, living here, whatever, they know that they're not American. And they never will be. And proof positive of this, other than just common sense, is that <laughs> um, most, if not all, of the foreigners that come to America um, proudly display their native nationality, pride in their native nationality. For example, Mexicans. There's lots of Mexicans in America now, probably more than ever. They have more of a foothold in politics and every other institution than ever um, because that's been given to them by anti-whites that are more powerful than them. Um, but, but Latinos, Mexicans are very numerous, have quite a bit of status now in America and what do they all do they display their Mexican pride they display Mexican flags everywhere we all see this I mean you see this more and more they're turning America into Mexico that's what they do because they're Mexican and Mexican will always recreate Mexico wherever they go so that's what they do. Just like anybody does their native biospirit, the native land of their biospirit, you could say. They will always just attempt to recreate that, to put their imprint on the environment, etc., etc. So <laughs> they're not going to become American. They're just going to make turn turn America more and more into Mexico. More of them that are here. It doesn't mean that there's more Mexicans that convert to be Americans. It just means there's more Mexicans that convert America into Mexico. Doing things their way, their culture, their language, their food, everything. We all know the deal. And obviously this is because a country is composed of the people. The people are what make up a nation. So America, filled with non-American people, non-true white American people, is just going to become less and less America and more and more of those other foreign nationalities as more and more of those foreign people come. And that's what's happened to a very large degree already. A very, very large degree. To the point where it's absolutely not America anymore. It's not white anymore. It's not Western anymore. Except for very tiny pockets here and there. That's... That's what happens when a population is replaced. The country is erased and replaced and transformed as well. This is how America was destroyed, by erasing the population that created it. And then that country is no more without its population, obviously. Because that nation, any nation, is literally composed of the people that create it. So America has been long since destroyed. Now it's just painfully, sickeningly, embarrassingly, humiliatingly obvious. Um...
So that's the important point, people. Peep, uh, when foreigners go to other nations, when they get enough numbers, they're not going to convert to that nationality. They can't. No one can. There's no way... That is just not possible in nature. No one, no human being can transform themselves into another bio spirit, into another race, into another nationality even. You're just born that way and, and that's what you got. So every human being on planet Earth does that when they have enough numbers. Westerners, non-Westerners, every race, every group of people on planet Earth do this. They, they put their imprint on their environment, do things their way. We whites in the West have had our numbers just reduced so much that that's why we don't see much of our imprint anymore, because our people aren't around anymore and are in a very unhealthy state, most of us, that are around. And a great majority, or I would say a majority, work against our own bio spirit, either advertently or inadvertently. So we all get the idea here, folks. Mexicans, when they come to America, they know they're not American. They would look at a sign like that and say, well, that's obviously bull crap. They know they're Mexican. They're always going to be Mexican. And that's why they display Mexican flags everywhere. Display Mexican pride everywhere because they know that's what they are what they always will be so they don't come here and say oh thank you America for for making us American uh, and then display American flags everywhere you don't see Mexicans uh, sporting American flags everywhere and say oh Thank you, America. We're so glad you made us American. We're going to show our American pride everywhere now. We are now American. No, they don't do that. They just say, well, thanks for letting us in, America, whatever you want to say, for whatever reason. Uh, and we're going to fly our Mexican flags and, and just continue showing Mexican pride doing things our way and continue spreading our bio spirit and increasing in number as much as you allow us to America and every other nationality every other non-white does this obviously Arabs do that they know they're always going to be Arab. They'll display pride in their own bio spirit nationality wherever they can as their numbers grow. Africans, blacks obviously do this. Asians do this obviously. Asian pride. They just do it. Um, They just do it in our lands. Now that they've been here for so long. So people are always going to do that. It's just nature. It's just out of anyone's control. It doesn't matter where they are. They're always going to put their bio spirit wherever they are. It doesn't matter if Asians are in America. They're still going to act Asian and just inadvertently, instinctively, unconsciously convert 
wherever they live in America to Asia, etc. I mean, in LA, where I was uh, a few days ago, as anyone who's been there will know, is a good example of the Asian imprint. It's a good example of any imprint because LA is just just gone. It has pretty much everybody but Westerners there now. Um, but you could see you could see sections of everything. But hey, there's big chunks of LA that are completely Asian and Asian language displayed everywhere. You know, signs in Chinese, in Korean, in Japanese. I mean, they don't even bother with English because there's so many of them in 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 several areas of LA now. Same with Latinos, obviously there's there's an entire Latin quarter in LA. Uh, obviously Africans, blacks have a ton of stuff. Um, Arabs to a lesser extent. And of course plenty of tiny hat influence there as well as everywhere. But, um, which is all anti-white and non-white and non-Western. Now, I'll give you an example, folks, of just, just the utter catastrophe that L.A. is now. I mean, it's just, it's just beyond words. Um, I was in Venice Beach a few days back. That place is sick. I don't think I'm ever going back there. But amongst all the anti-whiteism left and right, there was a big mural of Abraham Lincoln, a penny with Abraham Lincoln on it. I thought, oh, that's the one Western thing I've seen here. But of course, everything there has to be anti-white. So, so Abe Lincoln actually looked like he was wearing a little hat, a little tiny hat on his head of a certain variety, of a certain anti-white variety. So they've converted Abe Lincoln <laughs> in Venice Beach on a mural to be a, a tiny hat anti-white, basically. So that's the extent of, of the white erasure. Uh, but then, you know, driving through LA eastward out of there, I, I noticed things that, that I hadn't really quite noticed before, some of them, and I used to go through LA a lot, trucking. Um, but they're, they're in rapid anti-white fire mode. Um, more than ever. There was actually on my way out just a few, just a few things that I noticed um, that were particularly eye-catching and sickening. Is... Um, One, there was a museum of tolerance, an actual museum of tolerance <laughs> uh, in LA, official. And of course that is, that is targeted at Westerners to say that, hey, you whites, you need to be tolerant of your own erasure. We know what erasure is code for, word that starts with a G. You need to tolerate that. Tolerate your own replacement. Tolerate living as a as a victim, as an abused, oppressed victim, victim in lands that were founded by your people. You need to just tolerate that, whites. You need to just take it. They're going to erect an entire museum for that. Then it was just one thing after the other for the non-whites. Some African-American heritage museum or whatever. And there's there's tons of those. But there was like an entire institute of African studies. Just an entire institute dedicated to uh, so-called African-Americans. Which there's no such thing. They're just Africans. Um, 
otherwise known as blacks. Then, um, then there was actually a Latin quarter, a Latino quarter, and that's new, relatively new. They actually named this, officially named a, a part of LA, the Latino quarter. And I think that's fairly new. I mean, there's, there's been, there's always been tons and tons of Latinos there for, for most of our lifetimes, but now they've actually, they're really naming things official for them. So I think in recent times, they've declared a certain large area, uh, the Latino quarter. Um, and then all the liberal, retarded, anti-whites that are saying, welcome, welcome uh, foreigners, welcome invaders, welcome so-called refugees, welcome non-whites. Because these, these liberals, you know, these libtards, anti-whites, that are, that are acting like they're so welcoming and tolerant of, of, of non-whites, non-Westerners coming in and living here and stuff, these people are just you know, they're just tearing down our civilization and they're just accelerating. They just want to accelerate the tearing down of our civilization, which includes our people. This is obviously very sick. Any white person or any person at all that is saying, welcome, come on in. All they're doing is trying to accelerate the destruction of our civilization, of Western civilization. Which, in the case of a white Western person, that is their own civilization. They are hastening their own destruction. But usually they're hastening the destruction of other Westerners uh, before their own. So these people are particularly sick and disgusting people. People that have completely turned on their own civilization, their own kind, and they're just welcoming in the invasion, saying, come on in and invade. They're 100% traitors. They work for the other side. This is really sick, folks, as we all know. Um... And and then, you know, there's too many things to name here, but then I get to Phoenix. I think it was Phoenix. It actually might have been California still in the L.A. area, like East L.A. area. 